Lesson 22 homework. Number one, divide then check using multiplication. The first one is done for you. So let's skip to B, 485 divided by 15. So first we need to see how many times 15 can go into four. 15 can't go into four, so I'm gonna put a zero above it. How many times can 15 go into 48? Well, I know 15 times 2 is 30, and 15 times 3 is 45, so another one would be too big. So it can only go in 3 times. 3 times 15 is 45. We subtract and get 3. Bring down the 5. So 15 can go into 35 2 times. 2 times 15 is 30. If we subtract, we get 5. There's nothing left to bring down, so we have 32, remainder 5. And to check, we would do 32 times 15. And 32 times 15 is, I'm using my calculator to check, 32 times 15 is 480. And then 480 plus 5, our remainder, is 485, which is what we started with. So that checks out. 700 divided by 21. Okay, how many times can 21 go into 7? That would be 0, but how many times can it go into 70? So 21 times 4 would be 84, so that's too big. So 21 times 3, that's 63. If we subtract, we get 7 and bring down the 0. So we have 70 again, so it can go in 3 times. And we get 63. So we have 33 remainder 7. And to check, I'm going to do 33 times 21. 33 times 21 is 693. And 693 plus 7 is equal to 700. So that works. 399 divided by 31. 31 can't go into 3, but it could go into 39 one time. 1 times 31 is 31. If we subtract, we get 8. Bring down the 9. 31 can go into 89. Let's see, 31 times 2 would be 62. 31 times 3 would be 93, so that's too big. It can only go in 2 times. 2 times 31 is 62. If we subtract, we get 12 remainder... 27. And to check, we would do 12 times 31 is equal to 372. And 372 plus 27 should be equal to 399. And it is. 820 divided by 42. See, so 42 can't go into 8, but 42 could go into 82 just once. 1 times 42 is 42. If we subtract, we get 40 and bring down the 0. So 42, when you see how many times 42 can go into 400. Now 42 times 10 would be 420. So I'm going to try 42 times 9. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 1 is 37, not 35. So we have 370, 8, not 72. Okay, 378. So it can go in 9 times, that's 378. So we have 19 remainder 22. And to check, we have 19 times 42. 19 times 42 is 798. And 798 plus 22 is 820. So that works. 
908 divided by 56. Let's see, 56 can't go into 9, but it can only go into 91 time. If we subtract, bring down the 8, so we have 348. And you see how many times 56 can go into 348. I'm going to think of 56 as 50, round that down to 50. 50 could go into 306 times, so I'm going to try to see what 56 times 6 is. 336. So we couldn't add another one, another group of 56, it'd be too large. So it can go in 6 times. And then if we subtract, we get 12. So we have 16, remainder 12. And to check would be 16 times 56, and that is 896. And 896 plus 12 is 908. And that works. When dividing 878 by 31, a student finds a quotient of 28 with a remainder of 11. Check the student's work and use the check to find the error in the solution. So they want us to just check the work. So they did 878 divided by 31 and got 28 with a remainder of 11. So we're going to do 28 times 31. And 28 times 31 equal to 868 and then we need to add the remainder to that so 868 plus 11 would be 879 that does not equal 878 so their error must be somewhere within the remainder it could be it's just one off so it's probably remainder 10 Number three, a baker was going to arrange 432 desserts into rows of 28. The baker divides 432 by 28 and gets a quotient of 15 with a remainder 12. Explain what quotient and remainder represent. So they're arranging desserts into rows of 28. And so that means that there's going to be 28 desserts in each row. So we're going to have 15 rows of dessert and there will be 12 desserts left over that won't make a whole nother row. I'll just put that in parentheses. Won't be enough to make another row. 